Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are hey here guys. for another Bonfire Brew <laughs> review. So today we again are doing the same thing we did in the last video. I have the same brewery with a style for each of us. I have a stout for myself and a double IPA for Dana. Called Double Crooked Tree IPA. So it's a double IPA, like I said, it is 12% ABV. Wait till you hear the IBU. Oh. 98. Oh my God. Good freaking luck. Whew. So this is Dark Horse, which is, which is based out of Marshall, Michigan. Um, kind of back home for us. I have a lot to say about it before you get into anything, okay? So it says, it's an Imperial slash double. Have you read the description of for the regular crooked tree yet? Which we have tried that once. Long time ago. So I took a picture of it in front of with yeah. the little tree. Yeah. And it's on our Instagram. If you go and find that picture, power to you because it's way down on the Instagram. But this beer is almost the same. Just double the flavor and alcohol. We actually took the crooked tree recipe and doubled all of the ingredients. Except the water. Just the way a double should be made. Big hot balance with tons of malt. Give this beer a huge body. Although the beer is as cool as the Fonz when first purchased, it gets really mellow and smooth with some H. After a year or two stored in a cool, dark place, you'll notice the heavy caramel and malt flavors are trying to sneak past the hops. This beer is hugely delicious, so it will be, so it will need your undivided attention. The chores can wait. Trust us. It has 64,000 reviews on Untapped. This month alone, 216. Uh, we have three friends that have rated it a 3.6 average, and overall it is rated by 40,000 people, 4.1 out of 5. Wow. Yeah. So this will be very, very interesting. Um, let me see if there's any commenter from anybody. Okay, so um, this is someone who follows us there in uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. It says, wow, this one is so boozy. Very solid, but nothing really stands out for me. He gave it a 3.5. Go ahead and give us a nose. And as you guys saw when he poured it, there is no head. It's like a third of a finger. It's got the typical double IPA smell. Rich, somewhat fruity. And I guess, yeah, maybe boozy is a good one. Boozy? You can smell it. Yeah. Here, smell. You can smell the booze. Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I don't even know if I'm gonna try this one, guys. That scares me. Oh, you like it? Oh, no, it reminds me of the Alaskan we did recently. Oh, that's good. The Alaskan double guys, IPA. Guys, this is such a good double IPA, and I know it's got 12% alcohol, but I don't really taste a lot of bitterness in this. This is smooth. For 98 IBUs, you it's don't smooth. taste any? It's smooth. Uh, okay, let's see. I mean, we're not super zoomed in, but I feel like a... You're not gonna like it. A stank face is going to happen as soon as I taste this. The minute it gets in my mouth. Oh, it smells nasty. I can't even handle it. It's ruining my life. Oh God, just please take it. That is the, oh my God, that's awful. Oh, it's getting worse in my mouth. Oh my God, I hate it. That's all you, babe. Oh yeah. That's, I love it. Oh, I hate that. That is disgusting. That's one of the ones that he recommended we try too. Oh, the yeah. craft beer owner. He's a smart guy. Whoo, okay. Now from some beers that I actually like. All right, my turn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hopefully I can have a good chaser to what I just Oh my God, don't start. Don't you start. All right. You like Siskel and Ebert over here. Watch yourself. <laughs> okay, so this is a Russian Imperial, which is interesting because that's actually a Russian double. Um, so we got a good side by side from Dark Horse. And we have tried many of their beers and we really like this brewery, but hopefully this gives you guys a good, well rounded opinion yeah. of two spectrums of their beers. So this is 11% ABV and only 41 IBUs, which is just cowardly next to what Dana just experienced. Uh, there are eight of our friends have tried this giving it a 3.9 overall, and 51,000 have given it a 4.1. So more people have reviewed this one than the one that Dana just had. Dana's had 65,000, this has 79,000. 953 just this month. 
You're nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> okay, so this says, it's big and full-bodied with tons of roasted malts and balanced with heavy hops to put this Imperial in a league of its own. All right. There was, um, when we first poured it, there was actually no head at all. Um, after it settled, we do have a caramel colored, very small rim yeah, of head. Yeah, just a little bit. I smell chocolate. A little bit smoky. Pretty much all I get. So chocolatey, smoky, that's what I'm getting. Wow, that's bitter. You will really? hate this, you will hate this. So, yeah, compared to the one I tried in the last review that you guys watched, um, which was the uh, Nut of Your Business, that was very smooth and creamy. No IBUs listed. You go from that to a 41 IBU, you can taste that. That is, it's, it's an Imperial. So Imperial stouts for me to go either way. Either I'm going to love it or I'm going to hate it. Even though it's in the realm of stout, which is my favorable choice, of beer, it's, it could taste a little bit like heavy, heavy like body feel, and a little bit boozy, like as if it was aged in a, a barrel, even though it, it wasn't. And don't even tell me you like this after you told me you didn't like the nut of your business. I didn't say You crazy. Didn't like it, I said it wasn't like. Go for it. Give it a sniff, give it a sniff. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? Like a stout. I do taste it. It does taste a little weak. A little bitter though, isn't it? A little bit for a stout. Like dark chocolate. What do you think about it? It's not terrible. What? It's not terrible. <sighs> I'm debunking this. This is crap. It's did, you not... even, did you even follow? <laughs> yes. Did you even drink it? I didn't inhale. Hey. Sorry, Bill Clinton. We don't talk about politics on this channel. Keep... No one talks to you. I don't like it that much. I didn't mind it that bad. Well, because yeah. it reminds me of a double in the in the fact that it's bitterness and it's boozy. Yeah. It reminds me of like the profiles you like about this one. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would probably give this one like a 3.2 really? out of five. Like, I don't. I would not get it again. I mean, I'm not a, a stout kind of sore, but I, I don't think it's that not my thing. I tend to go for more of the sweet ones. I don't mind if it has a punch to it. I don't mind if the ABV is a little higher, but I'm not one to really enjoy the bitterness if it's done like this. I'm not huge on Imperials though. Every Imperial stout that I've tried, including the one from Rochester Mills during Craftmas, That's true. I didn't like That's that too exactly much either. True. I actually didn't even film the review of that one because I didn't like it. Yep. Remember, I drank it in the bubble bath. I remember. And it spilled in the bubble bath and I wasn't even sad. So again, thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure that you smash the bell. We post these predominantly on the weekend as weekend bonus videos. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. We love talking to you guys. And if you'd like to continue the conversations elsewhere, we have all of our social medias listed below as well. We have a lot of people we talk to on Twitter and we talk to people on Instagram as well. So make sure that you head over to those socials and check us out there too. Um, otherwise, cheers. Cheers.